My name is Mark Karski, I love you guys. Give it up for Mark Karski, making it look easy. What's going on guys? So I just, I'm late right now, I'm a little winded. It's a little hot. 46 so I don't really need this coat but it's about to be cold later it might even snow but I'm going to Josephine's doing a not improvised set so it's a planned act I'm gonna be talking about my friend how he recently said how he sucked dick once just nonchalantly while we were playing Uno um, talk about the questions I asked him and his answers and shit uh, the red flag oopsies <laughs> the red flag oopsies uh, the red flag thing about the girl again. Uh, like the, is Illinois and Chicago, favorite place being um, Rainforest Cafe, shit like that. Maybe the wiping the cum on her face thing again. And I wonder how much time I'll have left. I, maybe I'll talk about the Hollywood Ripper, my cousin, the murderer, we'll see. Um, but that's pretty much what I have to go through. I'm just gonna be listening to music on the way there, chilling, getting in the zone and stuff. I'm gonna be maybe, not like a little bit late, but like later than usual. Usually on time here, because it's a little bit later, but it's kind of close. But I'll probably get like a later spot, but there's only like 10 comics that go up, so it's not too big of a deal. Okay, love you, moi. Make some noise for the best smelling comic in the room, it's Mark Karski! Oh. Yeah, Hello, everybody. Yeah, baby. Wow, how's everybody doing? Okay, so I got here a little bit late. Yeah. Apparently, so I, I put together somebody said the Edward. <laughs> that was part of it. Yeah. Like actually said it. What? What did they look like? A white. Like well, white. They were a full white. And they said the whole word. <laughs> anybody filmed that set? Did anybody have uh, that? It was pre mic. It's pre mic. And it was the behavior pre following that as That's, well. That pre mic might be worse, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I Holy no setup shit. Or punchline. No it's, setup. Or punchline. Yeah, it's all. Oh, they just said it. That's usually how it happens. You had to come down hard. I bet. That is one of the rules. The quick lash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love how not a single comic brought up the, the veteran thing yet. They're not here anymore. Uh, but, uh, uh, nobody uh, brought it up. No I, didn't one know, did. I didn't know what to say if they yeah. were still here because I wouldn't have the same energy. I'd be very scared of them. Uh, they stayed for a while. Yeah. I think they were Brian's friends, yeah. actually. Yeah, they were here for him. Really? Yeah. Is that why he said nothing while they were doing that? Because he didn't want to yeah. get banned? Absolutely, I uh, think so. Uh, <laughs> This, well, no, that was a good time. I was laughing. That was the best. I was like, you guys should get up. This is a great bit. Um, <laughs> okay, was anybody else the whole time after Bianca just thinking about ugly coochie? Oh, yeah. Stop. The whole time. I'm like, I can't even listen right now. There's just ugly pussy in my face. I was like, what? What does an ugly coochie look like? Because they don't really show those on Pornhub. They bet. Oh, they do. They do? There's ugly pussies on Pornhub. <laughs> I, I bet I guess I bet my horn. I would watch. I would watch. I would dive I would dive in. Use better keywords. <laughs> That's a good point. Actually MILF just doesn't cut it anymore. Um, so I don't look like I play Uno, but I was playing Uno this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah dude, I was playing Uno. For real. I was, and I was saying that I was like, I can't believe I'm fucking playing Uno. But then I was like, I'm glad I'm playing Uno, because my friend just goes, I sucked a cock once. And I was like, Uno? I already heard him say this, but I knew he sucked a dick once, so it didn't surprise me. But the look on the house owner's face, he just... Straight face. Uh, but this is the second time you brought it up to me. I was like, dude, I brought this up on stage before about you stuff with me, this, so now I gotta ask you questions uh, about it. And I was like, let's see, what did I write down about these questions? I was like, did, uh, <laughs> did he finish? And he's like, no, dude. I'm like, well, <laughs> when you're a guy, you can't really give a guy blue balls, dude. That's, because there's consequences huh. for your guy. Women have the power because we can't hit them. They can give us blue balls. <laughs> You're just gonna get hit in the face if you suck a dude off for like three minutes. It's gonna, it's gonna punch you. Um, if you don't come within three minutes, that's your fault. Yeah, I'm asking, Mark. That is, that's why you're taking so goddamn long. Who is this for, you know? Who are you showing off? I'm pruning up. 
<laughs> I'm also curious. Um, I asked him, I was like, yo, were you good at it? He's like, no, why would I be good at it? I'm like, are you kidding me, dude? You're a guy. You know exactly what a guy wants. I would be great at sucking cock. <laughs> Anybody else here think they'd be good at sucking dick? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fit that old thing in my mouth. If I wanted to try it, I'd go all the way. It's crazy that he had tried to see if he liked it or not, though, because I've never even had mustard. So. <laughs> He's like, I need to find out. <laughs> Transition. So there's this one girl. Let me know if these are red flags, okay? <laughs> she asked me, she was like, is Illinois inside of Chicago? No. Yeah, I was like, kind of, yeah, it kind of is, I guess. <laughs> I guess it bleeds in a little bit. I can't. I'm not good at candor with hot women, TJ. I'm very bad. Candor! <laughs> uh, another red flag, maybe, possibly. Her favorite restaurant? Rainforest Cafe. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a, not a red flag, but it's pink. Yeah, it's a bit of a, like, favorite restaurant? Yeah, like, it's a bit much. Why? Is it the ambience of the tigers? <laughs> the rain every 30 minutes, dude? Her order was a, uh, a grilled chicken salad, which is fine, you know, with a vodka water. Fucking, this was the crazy part. She was like, dry cook. The chicken, no butter, nothing. And I'm just sitting there with this huge margarita and a Corona and this big burrito. I'm like, I'm the reason why dates are expensive. Oh my god! I need to stop taking bitches on dates. Uh, <laughs> speaking of this, let me know. This is a red flag. It's like being called a bitch. That was pretty tight, actually. I really liked that. I enjoyed that. I was like, why would you reinforce this behavior? Uh, and lastly, oh boy, she made me wipe cum on her face oh, no. <laughs> so that the airport would know that she is a little slut. <laughs> I was like, you're going to tell me? I got to find something to end that with. I like how to scoop it like war paint on her. It wasn't like Simba or anything. It was just absolutely disgusting. I posted that clarity. I was like, please make me stop. I don't want to do this. All right, my name is Mark Karski. I love you guys. Give it up for Mark Karski, everybody! Yay! He's selling merch after the show. It's come on your face. So. I will. <laughs> yeah. He's got a little jar of it. What's going on, guys? Just got out of Josephine's. Uh, episode 48. I don't know if I said that in the beginning. I just say this shit just for me so I can know how to edit these. But so somebody uh, got super mad. Not at me. Well, I mean, you guys saw the fucking set. Um, I brought it up. So what I was talking about was this one kid, um, I think Luis brought up something about veterans and this group who came to see some comic got so fucking mad. They started like verbally yelling at him and shit and saying that's not funny and something else like just as bad as you could think. They were sitting right behind me just yelling at this kid. Uh, but he, you know, slipped in a last little veteran line and shit like that. But then they left that time I got to bring it up. I really wanted to talk about it with them there. Um, to ask them why the fuck they were so offended. But I think it went good. You know, I went up there, um... And today kind of felt a little bit different. It felt a little bit more comfortable, actually. Once I was around halfway through it, it seemed like. Uh, there, like, it, you're not really sure about how much time you get. It doesn't seem like... Exact, maybe it is exact. I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe they give you a little bit more if it's not going like super terrible. But like, I kind of lost track of time a little bit. But uh, the stuff I was talking about was good. The um, ending part where I said they don't scan for uh, cum at the airport or whatever. I gotta like either figure that out or like, I mean, there's definitely it's hilarious that she had me wipe cum on her face. Actual story, it's actually real. So there's always got to be something there like that. Uh, Oh, that reminds me. I think that's what the kid said. He was like, nah, there's something there when he made a veteran joke. And then the girl's like, no, there's not. And I was like, I wanted to turn around and be like, shut the fuck up. But, you know, I wanted to have them on my side when I went on stage. <laughs> no, I wanted to say something. I was up there, though, for sure. Uh, sadly, could not. Um, I heard somebody said the N-word when everybody was hanging out before I got there. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, a <laughs> good N-word, damn it. <coughs> So I think he got yelled at. I'm not sure if he got kicked out. But uh, good night. 
a good set, I think. I like when my not improvised, it feels better when my not improvised sets go good because it's like, I mean, it's stuff I prepared, you know, that I had ready to go to with the plan of people laughing, you know? So that's just a different feeling. You know, it's super fun to be witty and shit like that on stage, but it's cool to have shit work. That's the, be that's the best feeling. It's addicting as fuck. I was talking to a couple comedians afterwards, and uh, one of the best guys in our scene for, sh for sure was saying he like, once he like started getting people laughing, it was like addicting and stuff for him. But uh, yeah, that's just how, that's how it is, I think. Glad I'm doing it. Almost at set 50. We're at set 48, baby. We're getting there. Uh, so set 50 is either gonna be yeah at the shrine or at LOL. I don't really care if it's at LOL, I guess. But I fucking LOL has a bad crowd most of the time. I know it's not good to say like, oh, it's the crowd, but there is like notoriously bad crowd-wise. But either way, I'll crack them one day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, mwah.